craving something sweet and fun, we have the perfect recipe for you. Suzanne Clark from livingacreativelife.net is here, and you're making something. I mean, you can make these with the kids. You can make oh, them for a sure baby you could. shower, an event, a holiday. Absolutely. I love that. You know, the inspiration actually came um, from one of my favorites when I was a child called Haystacks, where you put the butterscotch and the peanut butter. But I put my own little twist on it to make these beautiful little bird's nests. Okay, so we're making these beautiful and very tasty bird's They're nests. They're so good. <laughs> where do we start? Well, first we want to start with some white chocolate chips. You get this at any grocery store. We're gonna put it into a large a glass container. Now, this is the whole secret, because if you just melt these, this will harden up and it won't work. You have to put a stick of butter. And not water, you always have to use an oil or a butter in chocolate, otherwise it will cause, it's called seizing, and it'll just harden up on you immediately. Okay, so you put a bag of chocolate mm -hmm. chips, a stick of butter, One you stick put of it butter. in here, put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. And what you wanna do is not overcook it, that's also important, chuck it every 30 seconds. Until it becomes this consistency. Exactly, and now we're gonna add a cup of coconut. This is gonna kinda make our nest look mm. kinda cute, huh? Oh yeah. And then now this is the surprise. We are gonna use chow mein noodles. Okay. So people that like chocolate covered pretzels, this is kind of on the same, you know, the same line right here. Oh, yeah. but these are just, you know, found in any grocery store. We are going to put them in here and we're How going many, to store it. What, like a bag, half a bag? Two cups. Two cups. Two cups. Okay. We don't want too many. Okay. And once we kind of get that stirred up in here, we want to just start forming our little nests. And I love this recipe because you really can make it with the kids. Yes, absolutely. My Actually, my daughter loves making this. So we're just going to take a ball and we are going to put it on some parchment paper. And it's important to do it on parchment paper. And we're just going to make a little indent in there. And we're just going to keep on repeating. And that's it. Yeah. And then Is that easy or what? <laughs> I love it. You, these are no bake. These are no bake. So here in Arizona, what a perfect dessert idea. Yeah. The kids can do them all year long. And even if you didn't want to make a nest, you can make little mounds. I could also put some nuts inside of here. I could put raisins and cranberries, whatever. whatever. And to make them look like a nest, to finish them, Dustry, would you like to put some little yeah. jelly beans I in there? I have one quick question though. How, after you've made them, what do you do now? Like, how, do you let put them in the fridge or you just? No, just no. keep them out. Let them harden on their own and they're gonna harden really quickly. So you really want to work quick which makes it perfect to do with your kids because it's good to have a couple other hands because it okay. really does harden So quickly. after how long will they harden? About less than five minutes. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so in five minutes, you're going to have these, which are completely cute little nests. And then you said all you have to do is grab, you can do colorful jelly beans, it, like Whatever this. you want to do. You know, it's kind of, this gets you get to be the, this is your creative part right here. I also thought these would be really cute to put on top of a cupcake. Oh, yeah. It's like a little decoration, because they are so easy and quick to make, this as you saw. This is the Minecraft one. Yes, my there son. you go. <laughs> yeah, because he Shrek. likes Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you can have the Hello Kitty for the girl. Well, all, you know, the, the jelly beans are so cute because they have the little flux on them, and yeah. they look like, and these they really look, look like, like eggs. They're eggs so cute. right here. If you use the brown yeah. speckled ones. And I love them. So they're, they're so nice. nice. They're buttery. They're sweet. They're crunchy. There's, you know, what is there not to like? Oh, they're, yeah. And they're easy. They are. And so easy, easy. To make. and everyone the recipe is on the website livingacreativelife.net